Ole Miss able to find success in its last two games by limiting its opponents by 50 points or less. That hasn't been done by the Rebels since, get this, the Reagan era. State really focused on having a well-balanced defensive attack this season. That's where the Bulldogs have found so much of its success. Get this, seven of the team's nine wins coming when four Bulldogs are scoring in double figures. Today in sports, you probably could have never imagined. That's a year with no March Madness, a year with no College World Series, and a year with no spring or winner NCAA championships. That is our current reality. With one of the top scoring defenses in the SEC, the Rebels only allowing the Bulldogs to shoot 35% from the field while scoring 11 points off of state's 12 turnovers. The Hale State Hoops men have a consistency problem. One day the dogs are upsetting ranked teams and the next state is losing to teams that sit in the bottom half of the SEC. Mississippi State allowing Alabama to score 28 points in the paint and go 9 for 9 at the charity street. Seconds remaining in the first. Kick it out to Danbury. On fire. Pulls up. Nothing but nylon. Mississippi State against Oklahoma in the Big 12 SEC Challenge. Second half. Bulldogs down by three. Enter forward Reggie Perry. Pulls up. Bottoms the three bucket. It's all knotted up at 38. Even if coaches could recruit in person, it wouldn't matter. The Mississippi High School Athletics Association adding another barrier, suspending practice and competition until March 29th. Mississippi State men's basketball is currently riding an SEC roller coaster. To be fair, so are a lot of other teams in the conference. Ole Miss on average forcing 14 turnovers and the team's only two conference wins. Spoiler alert, turnovers would prove to be the it factor. Guard Devante Schuler on the break, the filthy crossover, and the finish with the layup. Rebs up three. It was 26 years ago that Lewis Ernest took the head baseball coaching position here at Hamilton. However, now he's ready to begin a new chapter, retirement. You don't ever know when is right. Uh, I don't know if now is right necessarily. Six state titles. That's how Hamilton will remember Coach Ernest. He was the first to bring the hardware home after winning the 1997 1A Baseball State Championship. Later, Ernest added two more trophies to the display case in 1999 and 2001, as well as three slow pitch softball titles in 2004, 2009, and 2012. They're all special in a certain way. Of course, the first one is, is special because it's the first uh, in 97. But uh, there's something different about every one of them, big plays, uh, different kids. Nearly 23 years later, Ernest remembers his first title like it was yesterday. Played Natchez Cathedral. They were 24-0 when we went down there. And uh, when we got back here after playing them, they were 24-2. So, you know, we won those two and, and won it all. And, you know, I remember, I remember the fans coming over the outfield wall. Back then, you played championships on your home. Field. However, it's not the championships that Ernest says he's going to miss the most. His toughest goodbye will be to the baseball field. There wasn't much of anything here when I started, and everything here uh, has got my fingerprint on it in one way or another. I built it, uh, this one and the softball field, and it, it's... Uh, it's special to me. I've told people it's kind of like it's my baby. Although Ernest may no longer be the man in charge, he says he doesn't plan on staying away from the baseball field he calls home. Thank you. Thank you for 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 a great opportunity, a, a, a great career. Uh, I'm on, I'm going to miss everything about it. I'm, I'm still going to be down here a lot, but. Uh, but I'm going to miss it. Hamilton baseball now begins a new era as six-year assistant coach Dallas Flippo takes over the program. Reporting in Hamilton, Courtney Robb, WCBI Sports. One of the most exciting moments for any high school athlete is receiving an offer to the next level. While signing those letters of intent has traditionally been on National Signing Day, February 5th, with the early signing period coming up Wednesday, December 18th, some players will be making an important decision this week. The road from recruiting to committing can be anything but easy. It's one of the most competitive aspects of college football. And we're not talking about the X's and O's of what happens on the gridiron. I'll be signing Wednesday, either Ole yeah, Miss, Alabama, or Auburn. We're talking about recruiting. Each year, coaches spend early mornings, late evenings, and weekends on the recruiting trail, all in hopes of securing the best talent in the state and in the country. We've uh, dominated, uh, you know, working hard to keep our third consecutive top 25 class. Had a meeting with a recruit last night, and then 
you know, I think 8 o'clock or something last night, and then had another one starting at 6.30 a.m. today. For the most part, football coaches have until February 5th to win over potential talent. However, with players opting to sign during the early period on December 18th, the timeline for coaches has shortened. Mississippi State head coach Joe Moorhead has spent plenty of time on the recruiting trail, ringing the bell and building his future roster. Into all four corners of the state's of the state uh, and a bunch of others, you know, highways, dirt roads, delta, coast. Every, it's been it's been awesome. Great reception from the uh, from the coaches. Great reception from the kids and, and their parents. And, and quite frankly, every gas station you pop in or you know store to get a dot do and, and a bag of chips. You, there, there's maroon and white everywhere. And Coach Moorhead already has commitments from Brandon quarterback Will Rogers and DeIberville wide receiver Jaden Wally, just to name a couple. Ole Miss head football coach Lane Kiffin is in a different boat. After only taking over as the Rebels' new leader on December 8th, Kiffin has to work quick to maintain former head coach Matt Luke's commits. While the Rebels have seen a few losses since Luke's untimely departure, others, like Winona quarterback and Darius Coffey, don't mind the sudden coaching change. He's going to bring a lot of excitement to the school, change, change a lot of things around. I was really signed to play for Ole Miss. I never just looked at playing for a coach. I was just looking at playing for the school. For Coach Kiffin, building a solid roster starts from the ground up. They're not going to all be five stars, so developing the bottom of the roster so they can be productive and help us play. For Division I, high school football players have from December 18th through December 20th to sign during the early period. Those going D1 that are waiting until National Signing Day will have from that day on February 5th through April 1st, whereas those going Division II can sign from the 5th through August 1st of 2020.